Hello. Hello. Diabolos. I am Adam. You can call me Diablo. Just call me Adam. Nice to meet you, Adam. You too. What novel is that? Actually, it's not a novel. It's a book about human behavior and attitude. That's interesting. You know, we humans can be quite funny with our behavior. Yeah, true. You're hypocritical too. Oh, by the way, I loved your performance at the drama event yesterday. Thank you so much. Where did you learn to play the role of the devil like that? I was shared from the Bible. I read the Bible a lot. Wow. That's interesting. I never thought the Bible could teach one to be such a bad character. I thought the Bible only teaches good things. No, not really. The Bible doesn't teach bad things. The role of the devil is what the Bible just explained to me. How bad and evil he was. Bad and evil? You mean like kill people? Yes. Can you tell me someone the devil actually killed in the Bible? He killed... I'm waiting. I think you killed Jesus. Don't be ridiculous. You killed Jesus. Me? How? You and your fellow men killed Jesus. Not the devil. But the devil was bad. How? He's a liar. And a deceiver. I'm still to see where the devil has actually told a lie. And as for deceiving, even God deceives. What? Never. First Kings chapter 22 verse 19 to 23. Second Chronicles chapter 18 verse 19 to 22. You couldn't tell me where the devil actually killed someone. But you feel it's okay with God sending soldiers to slaughter the lives of people outside Israel. They were worshippers of Satan. And idolaters. I thought you preached God as a God of love. Did he throw that love away? I don't know. That was God's plan. Adam, the God that exists in the real world is not what your religion painted. And in addition to that, there is no beef between myself and God. What do you mean by between yourself and God? Adam, you're a very good actor. But everything you portrayed in that drama yesterday was not me. What are you talking about? What do you think is the meaning of my name, Diabolos? I don't know. It means devil. So you are telling me you are the devil? I don't want you playing that role anymore. Because you've been misleading people with the wrong information. Can I go back to my reading, please? You don't believe me. Okay, then. Tell me what I ate this morning. Rice and tomato sauce. The usual. <laughs> Everyone knows everyone in Nigeria eats rice. There are 48 porn videos on your phone. Excuse me. Oh, so you didn't even count. Don't worry. 
you're still on the low. A lot of members in your church beat your record by a mile. Also, your password is your girlfriend's name. You're in a sexual relationship while you cheat on your sexual partner with another partner. Still not satisfied. You're having sex with your neighbor's 17 years old daughter. In summary, that amounts to a whole lot of sexual iniquities. How did you know all that? Don't worry. You're not the only one with a special sore spot in the underworld. A lot of you all do. Especially now that sex is very valueless. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're sorry? I thought you only apologized to God. Why apologize to me? And besides, I'm not the one who is planning to make your life miserable in hell. The God and the devil your religion painted are. Isn't it funny that you men want a welcome party in heaven when there is hardly one of you who deserves one? I don't know what to say. Have you come to take my soul? There's a lot of misconception about me. First, you all labeled me devil when my real name was Lucifer. You've ruined the beauty of my name. And now you're calling me a soul taker. I, I, I wasn't calling you a soul taker. God takes souls out of them. I don't. I was never the bad guy. Do you want to make heaven? Yes. I want to. The gate of heaven will only open to people with two qualities. Unfortunately, very few have it. It's not about singing and dancing. It's not about sheepishly giving 10% of your earnings. It's not about being the earliest bird to arrive at your place of worship. It's not even about religion. Please tell me the secret. It can be quite difficult for a lot of you because the deeper you dive into the sweet evil, the harder it is to come out. But there's still hope. Just tell me and I'll work on myself. Nobility and selflessness. That's your ticket to a wide gate. Um, by the way, I'm not the devil. My name is Fred. What? You're not the devil. I was just messing with you there. But don't take every other thing I said as a joke. Have a nice day. Wait. If you are not the devil, how did you know those things about me? Universal super consciousness. I don't know what that means. I know. Let's just say I'm an advanced man. And one more thing, Adam. There are some things in life you may not understand, but the best thing man can do to just let it be.